Howdy y'all and welcome back to Lives. I think it's time we play a little Agrarian Skies. Uh, so I've got to show you something really kind of creepy. Now remember when I made my golems and I put them all next to each other? I have not touched those golems. Why are they moved? Why are they all moved around? I just noticed they weren't standing in a line anymore. Why is that one way over there? I didn't do that. These guys were in a straight line. Why did they move? Remember, this, this toaster-headed guy used to be over here. Oh, you know what? I bet it was cows. Look at that. You can push them around. Oh. Alright, it's not as creepy. Not quite as creepy as I thought it was. Still kind of creepy though. It must be it must be animals and stuff. You guys all get over here. I didn't know you could push them around. I never noticed. All right. So I've been working on a few things today, and uh, I don't know. I had a really really difficult time bringing myself to even play this today. I I really had intended to do a lot today in here, and I just don't want to play it, it feels like. Well, I do now, but earlier today, ugh, I just like, ugh, green skies, ugh, no green skies, ugh. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I've moved a few things around, um, having problems with my bees. They were doing great, and then I uh, I stopped playing for a little bit, and when I came back... Uh, the bees had swapped out on me again into something else. So, yay bees. Can't ever be the bees I need you to be. No, we always got to be some kind of other bee. Uh, and so my, my secluded bees, <laughs> I check, and they're monastic. And uh, so I check again, and uh, uh, and the next thing I know, they're... Uh, they're secluded, which is what I'm after. And I'm like, all right, so I got secluded queens, secluded drones, secluded queens and drones, or not queens, but secluded drones going into the chest. Um, and so that's great. So it looks like I've got my secluded bees growing the way I need them to. And then I go back and check again, and they're not secluded anymore. They're... They're, uh, what is the other thing that they are? Um, they're, it starts with an A. They're, what are you guys called? Austere. Austere. All I could think of was aesthetic, and I knew it wasn't aesthetic bees. Aesthetic, not aesthetic. Uh, so yeah, so that was weird. But, uh, I don't know. They don't want to seem to be... See, now I've got secluded drone. But I don't have a queen to go with it. And right now... Ooh, you know, that might be done. I should go check this bee. I had an austere in here that came from secluded. I got another austere princess. I got a monastic princess. Um, secluded drones. Or a secluded drone. But a monastic princess. I'm going to take this... You know what? We might as well do this, too. Take the austere and the secluded. I don't know why I just put them in my inventory. I want them over here. You guys do that, and then I'm going to take... What did that say? There was a big red no-no on there. Oh, no, it worked fine. Whatever, we're good. I'm going to take these back over here, and I'm going to add this monastic princess into here. Hopefully I can get these secluded bees going, because that's what I need. I need secluded... You know, I've already gone through it a couple of times. It's a big mess, and I'm not even part of the way through. Uh, I ought to line up what I had to do with these bees one of these days. Just to just to see how crazy it gets. Um, uh, okay. I've seen people do that before, but... It would probably make my life easier if I would do it in-game so I could see it. And then know it's there. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, one of the things I did, you can see, uh, we've got some bits and pieces missing from over here. That's because I've moved them over to by the tree farm. 
I thought it was a bit silly that my tree farm that's producing wood to turn into charcoal is sending the charcoal then, or the wood, all the way over to here. And then this was sending the charcoal all the way over here, underground though. And so I went ahead and moved everything next to each other. So uh, my, my redstone furnaces are all right here. Ow, ow. And then underneath here, I have got my furn or my my dynamos. These dynamos never get any fuel the way I've got this set up because it's always going into this thing, the high temperature generator, which currently has seven hours and twelve minutes. Uh, it, it basically just sits at its max time here, apparently, of seven hours and twelve minutes of producing RF. Yeah. I don't even know if this thing is producing RF, honestly. I don't know if it... Like, it doesn't appear to be kicking anything out. Of course, this doesn't appear to be kicking anything out either. I do have my my um, reactor going at the moment, though. But, uh, so I've you know basically just been cleaning things up a little bit here and there. And uh, getting things out of the way. You know, this this would probably be a good spot to move things to, but... Whatever, we haven't done that yet. I have added many, many, many more igneous extruders. Uh, this is another 48, so that is 96 igneous extruders I have producing cobblestone. Uh, I added uh, two more auto packagers, which barely keep ahead of the cobble. Although these ones over here are, well, this one is, that one's not. This one's not, and that one's not. I don't know, it's like there's a slowdown in the auto packagers. Um, but uh, yeah, so they're producing cobblestone. It's getting sent over here. Um, we have three septuple compressed cobblestones now. We had one, I think, last time. And we're already five into the next septuple, uh, and that's just today. Um, getting these five, so yeah, that's working much faster than it had been. <laughs> Although this is a pain to build, let me tell you, putting these things here together is ridiculous. Um, first off, you can't use you can't put your wrench in here to flip these the correct direction. Uh, so you have to do each segment separately. Uh, and so what I had to do is I had to put down igneous extruders and then put the pipe in and then swap the pipes. And then do the next igneous extruders, put the pipe in, swap the pipes, all the way down here. Uh, now, I did the same thing on this one and then couldn't get it to work and then realized that I hadn't swapped them. And so I had to tear the entire thing down and start over when I built this first one. Um, and then carrying buckets of water and lava to get all these to start running, also not fun. But cobblestone is now going pretty good. Uh uh, ooh, ooh, I uh, I also been working on my Thomcraft quite a bit. Not making anything specific, really. But uh, I went ahead and made an auto enchanter, which apparently is not working very quickly. Oh, you must not have any more. No, there's tons of mob essence. Oh, you know what, though? The mob essence above you is above you. <laughs> I need to change this. Let me put... <laughs> I didn't think about that. It can't get any mob essence because the mob essence is all flowing from a different direction. Uh, that kicked out a new max servo, I'm sure. We'll pop that in there. Oh no, you got full mob essence. Why? Oh, I'll bet that just filled up, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm I don't know. But this is supposed to be making books. So far I've got two. Neither of them are the ones I want. I'm looking for frugal. Uh I've I've been reading about what I gotta do to finish off this Thomcraft quest here. And uh it suggested you get frugal on your wand and um, I got to make apparently all the Thomcraft gear, but I did go ahead and uh, I set that up to get me some enchanting books. 
And as you can see here, my new wand is completed. This is a great wood wand. I don't know why I made great wood. I should probably try something else. But it's got the uh, thumbcraft tips. Uh, thumbcraft tips were really easy to make um, after now that I've got this all kind of running. Also, you will notice uh, there's a lot of bottles missing. Um, I went ahead and figured out a way to transfer crap I wasn't using uh, into void jars. Although something goes weird with the void jars and I am actually losing stuff when I do this and I don't understand why. Um, let me let me dump these jars because I don't need them at the moment. Uh, and you can go to. Um, but uh, basically you gotta use files to transfer the stuff from one of these jars to another and a file will only take it if there's eight of them so this of course will get eight files worth of stuff and so I just basically did the same thing that I've done for my slime production and uh, this one here right clicks with uh, glass files on whatever jar I put in front of it emptying what's in it into the files um, this will only output, uh, this will only output filled files, and, uh, they go here into this one, which is sneaking and right-clicking, which I thought was supposed to, maybe that's what's doing it. Can you sneak and right-click a void jar to empty it? Oh, that's what's going on. Oh... So it's my fault that's happening. I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of awesome. Get out of there. Look at that. Can you do it on normal jars? Did I just like waste my afternoon playing around with this stuff? You can! I didn't know you could empty the jars. Ugh, now I feel like an idiot. I, I spent a long time today with these jars trying to clean them out look at that I mean like there's like five Ignis in this jar there's just no point like look at this one I got one get out of there crazy my life would have been so much easier if I would known that was a thing I could have just emptied those jars Where? Does it say that in the in the book? I don't think it says it in the book. Uh, it's not in this one, anyways. Alchemy. Um. Nope. Word jars can be placed in the world and is able to store sentia virtually indefinitely. Uh, the enchantments placed on the jars also make. Adding or extracting a sentient breeze jars placed under the spout of an alembic will be automatically filled. They can also be filled and emptied using files. Um, oh, right here. Shift clicking on jars and alembics with an empty hand will empty them. Ugh. Wow. Guess I should have turned the page. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else did I work on today? I know I've got one big thing to show you that I've been working on today. Uh, I had a little issue with my slime system here. I don't know what I did, but somehow I, uh, oh, I do know what I did. You know how I was showing you how I was cleaning up piping downstairs? I didn't realize that this piping here was in use, and so I took this all out. <laughs> and so it filled the barrel with milk. Uh, and so I'm sitting here... Hoping it's going to make me blue slime, and instead it's just a barrel full of milk. It's kind of hard to make slime when you just got a barrel full of milk. Uh, but... Oh, we got another 44 blue slime in here. And we can go ahead and take that. Make some more congealed blue slime. Let's check the old quest. See where we're at on that. 
Wrong mm -hmm. quest. Well, I guess we can check where we're at on this. I've been making purple stained glass today. Um, I uh, added a fluid void to my uh, centrifuge to drain out honey. Uh, and so you can see I have gotten 58% uh, of the glass. This glass you've got to make for this quest is terrible to make. Uh, I hope that purple... This is the only part of this quest. Um, slimes. So we are now at 54%. I'm a little over halfway with my congealed blue slime. So that's awesome. Um... So the other thing I did today is I completed Mikari's cooking, which is a lot of cooking. And I only did one of these today. You you see me do the other ones, but I went ahead and finished off this quest. Um, first, you gotta make breakfast, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, and then the sandwiches. I should count this again. So this is seven per. So this is uh, 23 sandwiches, if that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. it is. 23 sandwiches. Um, here's 28 desserts. 14 fast foods. Uh, 30 snacks. 15 beverages. Uh, 23 meals. And then, ugh, I spent all day on this. Well, not all day. Uh, all day that I was playing pretty much today was on this and working with Essentia. Um, and then you can see here we've got another, uh, what, 32, 32 vegetarian meals. Although that's not technically true. Uh, it claimed they were vegetarian, but some of these contain meat. Um, and so I thought that was kind of funny that some of them contained meat and it says it's vegetarian. Uh, one in particular, I only noticed it on one, um, and I don't remember which one it was. Uh, I want to say it was something with broccoli. Um, but uh, it contained bacon. Or, well, not bacon, but pork. Uh, and uh, so that was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what I made: asparagus soup, bean burrito, candy sweet potatoes, cactus soup, cream broccoli, broccoli mac, cucumber soup, cream corn, cream corn that had onion in it. I don't think I've ever had cream corn with onion in it. Fruit salad, grilled skewer, glazed carrots, mixed salad, beet salad, beet soup, baked beans, biscuits. Baked beans might have had bacon in it too. Uh, braised onions, veggie stir fry, sunflower broccoli, spring salad, steamed peas, seed soup, old world veggie, onion soup, avocado burrito, baked turnips, baked beets, carrot soup, corn on the cob, curry rice, curry? I don't know if that's pronounced like that. Curry. Curry rice. Cucumber soup. Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad is like the spring salad with cucumbers chopped up in it, so I don't... Even though why that was a separate thing, uh, but yeah. So, dun 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 dun. I am a culinary master. That's right. Cu culinary, culinary. Uh, I think that's pronounced both ways. And we got an epic reward bag. Let's hope for something epic. Uh, no. How is that useful? How is brown trees useful? I don't know. Maybe it gives you copper. I I have so much raw material, it's not useful. Just saying. Oh, that was a disappointing epic reward bag. That is a big silverwood tree. That was what I was going to look at, too. Is silverwood a better wand than what I'm using? Like, do I need to make a new wand? Uh, where's the wand at? Here we go. I did not learn more aspects so that I could unlock this. Um, silverwood wand. Oh yeah, see, this is what I should have made, is a silverwood wand. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make one of these. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've got eight. Okay, we're good. 
so I need one of each of the sh those. I need a Salus Mundus. I've got one of those, I think. And I need a Silverwood Log. Uh, I don't know that I have a Silverwood Log handy. So you got to give up a piece of Silverwood. Got some Silverwood now. Uh, and then I need one each of these. So... Uh, nope, I already grabbed that one. Ooh, look, I've only got one fire. Ugh. How many of these are there? One, two, three, four, five. I need blue. Here we go. Six. Actually, I might have more than that. Uh, I ran a whole bunch of stuff through over here. Oh, man. I ran an entire stack of TNT through this. I did not get anything from it. Uh, anyways, that's my six. Oh, my Salus Mundus. Salus Mundus, my last piece. I'm going to have to make some more of that, because I'm going to want Thomcraft caps on it. Um, okay, so it's, uh, Silverwood Log. And then we've got... Uh... The Salus Mundus... We got you, and then we'll put one down here, I guess. It says it's moderate, so... Oh, weird. I don't think I can count. I'm No, this should work up to be seven. What did I do wrong? You gotta come with me. You gotta go over here. Uh, what I did wrong is my South Mundus is in the middle, and I don't know why I thought I'd need to fill this one in. Uh, I need a wand. You're not doing anything but sitting here. Ooh, ooh, we better check to make sure I have enough stuff, too. Uh, eight, 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 or that's nine. Nine, 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 nine. So we need, uh, we need Ignis. We need Percantatio. We need, uh... Perdido, how much Perdido was that? Four. I get over here and waste my stuff because I don't have enough. I know we got enough of that. Uh, I don't really have a lot of, a lot of the plain. I know I've got some Aqua because I just filled this jar, and I know I've got Ignis all over the place, so that's not a problem. Um, I don't seem to have any Terra, so I'm going to want to fill that up, uh, and I didn't see any air either. I don't have any jars over there. All right, so let's go over here. We'll get the beans. I landed on the tree instead of flying through. Oops. Uh, I need air, I need Ordo, I need, I got Ignis, Perdido, uh, Terra. Is that it? Let me check the book. Air, Aqua, Ignis, Ordo, Perdido, Terra, yep, and Precantatio. Got plenty of Precantatio, so we're good there. Uh, I just need my void jars. And let's go ahead and knock these out of here. Is this, since this over here? No, this is Totem. Uh, I have a quest for blue. <laughs> it doesn't tell me which one it is, so I'm trying to figure out which one I need. All right, you do air, and then we'll come over here, and... Oh, you had something in you, apparently. And then you can do ordo. I only got these these two here, so I gotta wait for these to fill up. 
before I start the next one here. All right, and then you can do Tara once you're finished with that. And, oh, you're not done yet. And you can do Perdido once you're finished with that. Is all I got was 19? That seems weird. Okay, maybe it's just filling in on the top. I expected it to fill in on the bottom. It was being tricky. I put a little bit of green in front of your yellow just because. Just because I could. Just to be annoying. See, what I ought to have done is put these over here close enough for this thing just to suck straight from the jars. That's what I needed. I can't believe there's a little bit of orum left in my system. I only need nine. You guys aren't done yet. I'm just taking it. You'll just have to sit there holding stuff, and uh, I'll be back when I'm done with my little crafting session here. Whoop. I think it can reach from there. It's got a pretty good range, so... All I gotta worry about is getting hit by lightning or something, so. Oh, oh, it knocked something off. What'd you knock off? Uh, actually, I don't see it knocked anything off. Okay, you're just making noises. Did you knock off a head? No, the heads look fine. I don't know what it made that noise for. It's being cranky. There we go. Alright, so there's my silver wood. And then, uh, uh, the next thing I gotta do here is... There's probably like zero chance that I've got enough thomium nuggets. Yeah, look at that. I've got eight. Uh, you need ten. Um. All right. Well, what do I gotta do to make thomium then? That's uh down here. No? Up here? Is it in here? I don't remember being in here. Oh, here. Uh, it is four per cantatio and a thaw you may get. Okay. Uh, did I say thaumium? I meant iron. Uh, I need, I need a per, per, per mutation, no, that's not what I need, I need precantatio, oop, there's three, I think I just used some in another thing I was doing, and then there's another eight, so we're good there, and hopefully I got some iron, I got some iron in here. I wrong? No? I did just dump iron off in another spot. Nope, I do right here. 
I only need one, so we should be good there. Uh, bucket, bucket. I need a bucket of water. Okay, one, two, three, four. No. Oh, it's not boiling. I'm sorry, I didn't wait for it to boil. Thank you. All right. See, I wish I wish I paid attention. I could have just. Uh, uh, I could have just done that. Uh, okay, now we need uh, Salus Mundus, and we need a lot of it. We need three per cap, so I need six of it. So. I don't remember if that's a crafting combine. It doesn't appear to be. That's okay. We can find it here. Uh, Thaumaturgy, Silverwood Wand. No. Thanks. Here we go. Yep, I just made the caps. I need to know how to make this. It's, uh, oh, two of these and a shard. Yeah, yeah. We got that. Because uh, I just got a bunch of these dumped off on me from another quest completion. Yep, right here. So, let me grab uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. And then I'm going to need uh, 12 shards of some kind. But that doesn't work out right, does it? I need 6 shards of some kind. Okay. You and you. Oh, awesome. And then we just gotta go bloop, bloop, and let's hope I've got enough stuff to just run this. I might. It was, uh, that was the thing that I was setting up. Ooh, ooh, whatever that just sucked up, I'm out of. What does it take? What did I just run out of? Uh, potentia. Potentia. What is this? Potentia, right there. I got a whole jar full of it. Hold on, I'm coming. There you go. Don't get mad. Just suck up the stuff you need and complete my little doodad. There we go. And then you, 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 and I hope I swapped the right ones. Charged, yes, there we go. Hey, with the wand. And let me go ahead and put my wand over here to charge. Yeah, I finished making this one here, and it uses less vis in its uh, crafting, but it only holds 50 of each kind. And so the silverwood wand is going to hold 100. Okay. This, this, and... This? Oh, man, I need a full wand to make this thing. Yeah, like you. And not like you. I probably shouldn't even charge that one because I'm going to be swapping it out for this one. Oh, you don't have enough? Oh, wow, I can't even make it with this wand. I have to make it with this wand. Oh, no wonder why I couldn't have skipped... I couldn't have skipped stages. I'm going to have to wait for this to fill up. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, it's got to fill up with some ignis here. It better hurry up. You know what? I can just do it, probably do it faster myself. Uh, you need some air. You need some terra. Uh, and you need... Where's my fire? Nope, I think you're good on that.
Bam. Thaumium, Boss, Silverwood, Wand. All right, and this beast is supposed to hold a hundred, a hundred of each, which means it's going to take a bit to fill up for sure. Uh, and you know what? This one here actually needs some void jars underneath of it to collect stuff. Oh, why would you do that? I guess that was my fault. All right, with that, uh, I... Oh, yeah, look at that water filling up. I'm going to call it a day, so uh, this should help with my thumb crafting, maybe, a little bit. So uh, we got the slimes just about done. We finished the cooking. Uh, bees, of course, are a nightmare. I might go ahead and make that bee thing before next time. And, uh, yeah, I kind of need to come in here and fill this in so it's a walk area instead of a giant crater. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So click lady like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.